All right, folks, how are you doing today? I saw yesterday on my YouTube homepage, and I had to check it out, this video called Voting <laughs> by ContraPoint. I'm like, okay, all right. I bet I know what she's going to say. I bet I know. So I decided to check it out. You know, she's wearing a mask in, 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 in the video for whatever reason. And I watched it and I was like, well, this is actually way worse than I, than I thought. This is actually way worse than I thought it was going to be. You know, I kind of came in with a certain expectation. And not only did it give a little bit of that, but it was actually worse. And here is the biggest problem here, okay? And this is what, what she's, you know, pretty much saying to her audience. Vote for someone that is the opposite of the one that you hate. So, you know, she's specifically saying, you know, she, she hates Trump, so she's going to vote against him. What does that mean, voting against him? It means voting for Biden, Biden, which also means she doesn't like him either. She even specifically said, and I, I took this exact quote from the video, it says, I fully expect to vote for Biden and then protest the administration I voted for. I mean, are you, are you, this is, that's just ridiculous. That is absolutely preposterous ridiculousness right there. Okay. You, you shouldn't never vote for someone that you don't like or you don't agree with their policies. It's that plain and simple. Okay. If you don't agree with someone and what they're doing, then you don't vote for that person. Okay. You rather, number one, you don't vote at all. And that's kind of what she touched on. It's like, you know, we can't let all these people who are undecided and not vote, well, actually, not, not just undecided, all these people who don't like either candidate not vote and let their vote go, go, go to waste. Vote, let all of your uh, votes go to waste on Biden, right? You know, just, oh. It's like, no. What you should do is you should do your research figure out the candidate that you want to support and if not none of them meet your criteria then you don't vote for either of them but if you really want to make make your voice heard guess what you have third party candidates to uh vote for which you know they never get talked about in in the news you never really hear anything about those third party candidates they, they don't come to the debates which they should i think this whole Democrat and Republican system is just it, it's very outdated. It needs to be more open to just independent parties that are Not just Democrat and, and Republican because guess what I can't stand the Democrats. I can't stand the Republicans. I don't like any of them. Okay But the fact remains You don't vote for someone that you do not like the fact that she's going to vote for Biden even though she doesn't like him and then protest right afterwards. I mean, I, I, I don't think I even need to say anything there because I think that is just ridiculous right there. Okay, and, and then she goes on a little bit about, you know, what's so bad about the current president, you know, pretty much saying how, you know, cer or certain things here and there, and then it's, you know, can't admit that um, this virus is deadly that killed over 200,000 people. And again, I'm sure many of you who are watching, who is, have been watching this for a while, you know that 200,000 deaths is a complete fabrication. It is a complete lie. It is made up by anti-scientific people to promote the idea that this thing is worse than the common cold slash the flu, okay? We know that this number has been overinflated intentionally by the nursing home situation, by democratic governors in certain states okay so if you're a democrat and think that they can do do no wrong it's mostly the democrats that have destroyed their economies in their states and who have put s s certain states such as new 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 york for example is definitely the, the the best example have put people into nursing homes that have intentionally inflated the number and, and, and killed tons and tons of people okay so you have that, that big inflation. Then you have the other inflation of the false positive testing, as well as the 
oh, you died of cancer, but you tested positive, or we su suspect that you had the virus, so we're going to make sure that you get marked on your death certificate as having a death from it. So that 200,000 number, honestly, I would probably cut that in half or cut it into a third, and that is the actual deaths, okay? I would say, you know, probably 100,000 or maybe even a little less, okay? So again, blaming it on, on him just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. So again, I do not agree with anything that she's saying there because she's saying, don't let your votes go to waste. If you don't believe in any of them, vote for Biden, essentially, to get a vote against your opposition. You can't vote against your opposition. You shouldn't do that. It's like, And the thing is, there are so many people who are going to be doing that. We know that. Because here's the thing. There is no enthusiasm for a Biden, okay? That is a fact. There's tons of enthusiasm for uh, Trump. Either, you know, there's a very e excitement, like you, you want to see him re-elected, re and then there's people who passionately hate him, okay? You have people who are very mixed and very divided on this subject matter, but people have some sort of strong em emotion one way or the other for the most part. Biden, on the other hand, no one really has much of an emotion for him. I mean, there are certainly people who absolutely love him and agree with his policies, which look, if you agree with his policies, if you agree with Trump's policies, whatever it is, I don't care because you have the right to do that. You have every right to agree with whoever you want to agree with and vote for the, the people that, that, that you agree with. The problem that I have are these people who hate both candidates, don't like either of them, but they're like, I'm going to choose between the lesser of the two evils. And that I have a problem with because you should be voting for someone that you are actually passionate about. Okay? And if that were the case, you know, I, these numbers would be a lot different, okay? Because people are just voting for Biden just to get rid of Trump. And you know that that is the, what's happening. I mean, you see... Have you ever seen those huge rallies that Trump has? You know, massive crowds, okay? Tons and tons of people all crowded up and they all get made fun of like, look, look what he's doing. He's spreading the virus. It's like, oh, please. And then you see Biden's six circles with chairs in them <laughs> talking to a practically empty or his uh, drive up rallies where you drive up, <laughs> you drive up. It's like, oh my gosh, hey, look, no one, no one really cares. No one really wants to see him. No one really, because <sighs> here's the thing. And again, if you're a Biden supporter, then by all means, you have every right to, uh, to be that way. If, if you agree with his policies, then that is your right to do that. I'm not here to critique that. But what I am here to say is, if you really think you're voting for a Biden, then I think you need to really think again, because the vast majority of people can see that Biden will will not not be president. Okay, it's, he is mentally incompetent, not mentally able to actually physically you know actually be be there. He's not actually there. Okay, he's lost it. He's lost it. He, he has this terrible memory and in, in these mental health problems because of getting old, d dementia, Alzheimer's, whatever it is. He has these, these major mental health issues that, you know, if you hear some of what he's saying here, it does already impact his, his, his career. So if you think that he will be the one to be president, then honestly, you are sadly mistaken. It's not going to be him. It's going to be his uh, vice president, Kama, 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 Kama. Communist Harris, I think her name is, Co Communist Harris. So she will be the one who will be president, not not him. And, you know, I don't really know much about her, but you don't see her acting, you know, as, as a president here. You know, you don't, she, she's not the one who's, who's being debated here. And that is what, that is a big red flag to me. That is very, very suspicious to me. So anyone who thinks that Biden can serve out four years, potentially eight years, you are very, very, very sadly mistaken because... I doubt he could even survive one year, if that, you know, <laughs> if he, if he gets in office in January, he, he could be out by a, you know, ha half a year and 
honestly, I, I don't see it happening. I don't. It's not going to be him. It's not going to be him. So if you're okay with the vice president being president or whoever else gets brought in secretly, okay? Secretly, mind you, this is very deceptive practices. And that is what I, I disagree with strongly. Okay, so if you're fine with that, then by, then, then by all means, do that, okay? So, hmm. yeah, I just, I just saw that, and it was just so interesting because, no, vote for a third-party candidate or don't vote at all is what I say, okay? If you don't like either one and you need to make your voice heard, do, do like, like a write-in or something, you know? Whatever, whatever, whatever the case is. But don't vote for the lesser of two evils. Don't vote against the person that you despise because all that leads to is nothing. All that leads to is more frustration and anger on your part, okay? And there's no doubt, let me tell you this, there is no doubt in my mind that a Trump is going to win this anyway, okay? You know, if you, you shouldn't be looking at any of those stupid polls. Honestly, they're all wrong. They always have, have been all wrong. But we have to remember this. I just don't think Biden stands a chance for many, many, many reasons, including one, one that I just mentioned here. People are very suspicious and very careful of who's going to be president here. Now, you know, I hate to break it to you, Miss, Miss Points here, but um, yeah, I just don't see that happening. It doesn't matter how many people you get to follow and vote against something. Because when you, when you do something against it, again, it doesn't turn out. It doesn't turn out. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So we're going to wait and see. Honestly, this is going to be a crazy time. This really is. Very, very cr uh, crazy time for all of us. So, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm, yeah. So... I guess what it is, is for me personally, I try to just view things objectively. You know, I don't consume the fake news media. I don't watch fake news TV. I don't consume fake news online. I view independent sources, okay? Because here's the whole thing. All the mainstream media does, and I'm sure a lot of you are aware of this, they will make Joe Biden look good and they will make Trump look, look bad no matter what, okay? And it doesn't matter like, if, if you were an undecided voter, okay, if, 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 if you're looking and you're watching the mainstream media, then you're going to get a very good positive image of Biden and you're going to get a very negative image of Trump. Now, mind you, I don't view things like that, okay, because that is all fake news, that is propaganda, that is manipulation of people, okay? Both of these people are corrupt people. They have done wrong. They have lied. They possibly, possibly they both probably shouldn't be in jail for the crimes that they have committed. But when I hear the news media say, you know, things along the line of, or well, essentially saying, you know, Trump can't do anything good. All he does is bad. Every single thing that he does is just bad. That's a big red flag. It's like, come on, he's a human being. He does bad things but he also does good things. It's not every single action that he does is bad. This is, this is ridiculous. This is, this is absolutely ridiculous. And then you see things about Biden that are not even covered on the mainstream media. So I say view independent sources and get the full picture here. Okay, you know, I've, <laughs> I have a few friends who have said these things about Trump and it's like, you, you don't even know what the motive is here. Okay, I mean, you're, you're not, you're consuming this fake news media that is giving you this narrative or you're forming your own opinion that's not based on really anything you know so it's kind of like okay okay but um a lot of these things just are not true okay and I remember um you know just many many years ago when I started first hearing s s some things I saw what they reported on some of some of like the mainstream media like psych like CNN for example and then I'm like, this can't be right. This doesn't seem right. So I end up looking it up, find some independent sources. And I actually view like the full clip of something that he said, something that, that he did. And I'm like, wow. So they manipulated it in a way to make it l appear like he is a different way. So I think honestly, a great number of people who, who hate this man 
only hate him because they consume the fake news media and have a different idea in their head as to who he actually is. Okay? So, you know, I'm not a Trump hater. Okay? I'm really not, but I'm also not a Trump lover either. Okay? I'm not. I view it for what it is. Okay? I'm not going to be fooled by, by, by the fake news to try to make me hate him, as most people, as most of the news sources try to do. They make you try to hate him. Okay? I'm not going to hate him. I don't hate anyone. Period. I don't hate anyone, period. Even if they do something I disagree with. No. So I view it objectively. I see, okay, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this. This is, this is ridiculous, you know? And then there are other things like, oh, good for you. Clap, clap, you know? You did good here. You did good here. You were made good on this, okay? So that is how I view it because I am independent. I view things for the person, not what their political agenda is or their political affiliation or anything along those lines. I don't do that. Okay, so again, this video here that I showed you, I strongly object to it because honestly, it doesn't make any sense. You can't vote for the opposing because you hate someone. You, you hate this person, so you're going to vote for the other one. I mean, ridiculous, ridiculous. And you think... <laughs> Actually, no, I, I think she specifically said, you know, if Biden becomes president, it's, it's not going to change anything. It's going to be bad anyway. It's like, yeah, so honestly, no, 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 no. <sighs> that was it. I think there was something more I wanted to say. I don't know. But um, regardless, that was it. Oh. Y'all take care. I'll catch you later. Have a great one. Let me know what, what, what your thoughts are on this, you know? Do you believe that people should be voting because they hate the opposition? And, and this goes both ways, mind you. People can vote for Trump because they hate Biden. No, you shouldn't do that either. You should not do that either. If you hate Biden or are scared of Biden, but you don't like Trump either, then don't vote. Don't vote for him. Either one. Vote for a third party or vote for a write-in or do whatever else if you want to make, make your voice heard. It doesn't matter if, if you vote for your... You're, you're a dog, you know, make make your dog president, okay? There you go. <laughs> but yeah, don't vote for the opposition. Don't, I mean, don't vote for someone just because you hate the opposition. That is ridiculous, okay? That was all. Yeah, take care. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you later now. Bye.